Did you know that Boca razor blades were once used as a currency in some parts of the world? Curious to learn where and why? Watch the video until the end to find out why Boca razor blades were used as barter as we explore the history and manufacturing process of Boca razor blades. From sourcing, rolling, stamping, tempering, grinding, and polishing the stainless steel to the packaging and shipping of the final product, the manufacturing process promises the delivery of high quality razor blades to its customers. The history of Boker can be traced back to 1829, when the Boker family established their first factory to manufacture cutting instruments. They began making knives and swords in Solingen, Germany, and quickly gained a reputation for their high quality instruments. In the 1900s, Boker began manufacturing razor blades. The first Boker razor blade was made out of carbon steel. They were sharp and durable, but were also prone to rusting. In the 1920s, Boker began using stainless steel to make its razor blades as it is more resistant to rust. Boker razor blades quickly became popular with barbers and shavers worldwide. In the 1930s, Boker introduced a new type of razor called the Supernox, made of a particular type of stainless steel that was even more rust resistant. After World War II, Boker continued to innovate in the razor blade market. In the 1960s, the company introduced the Arctic razor blade. The Arctic was made of a special type of sharp steel. It was also coated with a lubricant that made it glide smoothly across the skin. Today, Boker is still a leading manufacturer of razor blades and produces many different types of razor blades, including straight razor blades, safety razor blades, supernox blades, arctic blades, permasharp blades, diamond edge blades, and sensitive blades. Boker razor blades are sold in over 100 countries around the world. The company's main markets are Europe, North America, and Asia. Boker also exports its blades to countries in South America, Africa, and the Middle East. These blades are used by barbers and shavers worldwide and are known for their quality, sharpness, and durability. A company that makes Boca razor blades also makes a line of razor blades for cats and has a museum dedicated to its history and products. With an annual revenue of 30.6 million, Boker manufactures its razor blades with precision for a safe shaving experience. Now, let's explore the steps of Boker razor blade production. Step 1. Sourcing Stainless Steel The first step in creating a Boker razor blade is the selection of high-quality stainless steel. This special stainless steel, known for its strength, durability, and sharpness, arrives at the factory in large coils. Boker razor blade sources its stainless steel from a variety of suppliers around the world. The specific source of the steel for a particular blade varies depending on the availability of material and other factors. Some of the most common sources of Boker razor blade stainless steel include Germany, Japan, and Sweden. Step 2. Rolling The steel now undergoes a process called rolling, which involves passing a strip of metal through a series of rollers. The rollers reduce the thickness of the strip and elongate it. The strip is heated first, which softens the steel, making it easier to work with. The rollers are spaced together as the strip passes through them, reducing its thickness. After the strip has been rolled to the desired thickness, it is slit into individual blades. This repeated rolling process ensures uniformity, increasing the strength of the blade. The rolling process makes the strip stronger and more durable, creating the distinctive shape of Boker razor blades. Step 3. Stamping Next, the blades are stamped out using a precision machine called a shear. This process ensures that each blade is perfectly uniform in size and shape. During this process, the blades are given their final shape and size. Sheets of stainless steel are fed into a stamping machine, and the machine has a die that is shaped like the blade being produced. The die must be perfectly aligned with the sheet of steel to ensure the blade is stamped out correctly. The die stamps out the blade as the sheet passes through the machine. The stamping pressure is carefully controlled to prevent the blade from damage. This process gives the blades their unique properties, like the ability to hold an edge for a long time. Step 4. Tempering Once the blade has been stamped out, it is trimmed to size and then heat treated to harden it. This process of trimming and heating the razor blade is called tempering. 
The process involves heating the steel to a specific temperature, then cooling it slowly. The exact temperature and cooling rate vary depending on the steel used. Tempering improves the edge retention and toughness of the blades. The trimming process involves cutting the blade into the correct size and shape, while the heating process helps to relieve internal stresses in the blade. Step 5. Grinding and Polishing The blade is then sent to the grinding and polishing department, where it's given its final shape and sharpness. Here, grinding machines use a variety of abrasives, such as diamonds and silicone carbide, to crush the blades. The polishing process further refines the shape of the blades, giving them their final sharpness using abrasives such as rogue and jeweler's rogues to polish the edges. The machines are carefully calibrated to grind and polish the blade evenly. The polish acts as a protective barrier against corrosion for a smooth glide during the shaving process. Step 6. Quality Inspection once the grinding and polishing process is complete, the blades are inspected for quality. Each blade is carefully examined by a team of experienced inspectors trained to identify defects and ensure it meets Boker's strict standards. The inspectors use various tools and equipment to help them. The blades are rejected and returned for rework if any defects are found. They are only released for shipping after passing all the quality control tests. Step 7. Packaging. The packaging begins with the blades being placed in clear plastic blisters that protect them from the damage. The blades are then packaged in different ways depending on the desired end product. Single blades are often packed in a blister pack and placed in a cardboard box. This type of packaging is common for blades sold individually. Multiple blades are often packed in a plastic case. The case is then placed in a cardboard box, and this type of packaging is common for blades sold in sets. Step 8. Shipping. Boker razor blades are shipped worldwide, using a variety of shipping methods depending on the destination country, the weight of the package, and the desired delivery time. Some of the most common shipping methods of Boker razor blades include airmail, economy, and express shipping. Still wondering where and why Boker razor blades were used for trade? Boker razor blades were used as currency in Germany, China, and Russia. They were known as Bokergeld in Germany, where they were used in the early 20th century. In China, they were known as Boker Sheen, where they were used during the Warlord era from 1916 to 1928. And finally, they were called Boker Rubli in Russia, where they were used during the Civil War era from 1918 to 1920. People trusted Boker razors as they were a product of a well-known and respected company. Made of high quality steel, they were very sharp, making them useful for multiple purposes, and their rare availability made them more valuable. They were relatively small and easy to transport, making them a convenient form of currency. The use of Boker razor blades as currency declined in the mid-20th century as more stable forms of money became available. Which Boker razor blade do you prefer for your shaving experience? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this episode. Remember to hit like and subscribe for new videos.